community trying to go on with life after the tragic Trestle Trail shooting on May 3rd. After being delayed due to rain two weeks ago, tonight the Menasha community came together to join hands in a moment of silence on the bridge that looked so different just a month ago. A gunman opened fire on the bridge, killing 11-year-old Olivia Stoffel, her father Jonathan Stoffel, and Adam Benthal of Appleton before turning the gun on himself. NBC 26's Billy Wagness was at the event tonight and joins us live at 10 with that story. Holly, people from all walks of life came together along the Trestle Trail Bridge this evening for a coordinated effort that began the Monday immediately following the tragedy. As word of the shooting spread, Senior Director of Regional Philanthropy for Children's Hospital Wisconsin, Chad Hirschner, says he and his friends started talking. We needed to do something as a community to come together. As hands over the fox began to take shape, Hirschner says the goal of the event became that of healing. Tonight, that meant a community taking back the very spot where tragedy unfolded. Many people tonight might know each other, might not know each other, but it's coming together as that one symbolic moment. While a month has passed since the murders, many in the Fox Cities are still in shock. People expect something like this to happen in a bigger city. And this happened right here on the Friendship Trail. But it's hard <laughs> to think it was right here in our community. Tom Schmidt and his wife Renee, along with their two sons, Miles and Alex, know the Stoffel family well from their school and church. They also frequent the Trestle Trail Bridge. My wife and I are actually here that night coming to this park to walk and we're on scene when it happened. Tonight they joined the hundreds who packed onto the bridge in memory of their friends, especially Erin Stoffel. She's got so many people that just love her and support her and just want the best for her and her family. The Schmidt family says there's real healing happening here every day the park is used by happy families. I have to admit my first time back over the trail going through that spot, it hit me a little bit. You know, and not being afraid of coming out and just doing what, we're, what we do every day. Strength and healing in numbers. Our sisters, brothers. And Holly, those shirts you noticed the Schmidt family wearing were donated by Bolt Construction, where Jonathan Stoffel worked, and are being sold to raise money and provide scholarships for the Stoffel children. Billy Wagness, NBC 26. Thank you, Billy. Now, Erin Stoffel, Jonathan's wife, and Olivia's mother spent weeks in the hospital recovering after she was also shot multiple times that night. She was recently released.